Uh, first of all, welcome everybody and to the Cuban people. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for leading the effort uh, to make sure that we reconnect, as Senator Andrew said, uh, the history of Cuba, the history of New Orleans, uh, because we have been together for a, a very, very long time and we want that to continue. Mary, uh, really from the bottom of my heart, uh, you know, <laughs> Mary was, a, was the guardian angel of this city for a very, very long time in the United States Senate. Uh, and she would have been forgiven for after getting out of office saying, sayonara, I'm on my way. But she continues to work every day for the city of New Orleans and continue to work, and this would not have gotten done without her. So thank you very much for all of your work. And Donna, thank you for all of the work that you've done as chair of the foundation. I really appreciate it. What can I say about uh, my dear, dear friend and the great Quint Davis? Uh, you know, from time to time, we'll tear ourselves apart about uh, things in the city of New Orleans, but it re we need Jazz Fest to remind us when we're at our best. When out of many, we become one. And there's no better example of it than Jazz Fest and then specifically uh, what it is that we're doing to rebind uh, the ties that were torn from Cuba such a long, long time ago as it relates to who we are as a people. The city of New Orleans from 1718 through today I think Havana is a little bit older than us, but anybody that walks along the streets of Havana, or by the way, if you just jump up to Quebec, you will begin to understand who we are and what we are as a people. And when we celebrate our diversity, and we celebrate what we've produced because of the convergence of our different art forms and our different music and our different food, you actually get what you're celebrating today. And there's no better example about the great values of New Orleans so, Mr. Ambassador, I want to thank you for being here. Everybody can see with their own eyes what some of the roots are of the second line and some of the things that you see here today. And as New Orleans begins to commemorate her 300th anniversary and we reconnect with all of those countries that made us who we are, Cuba has been a very important player. And we are thrilled to have you back, Mr. Ambassador, as well as all of you musicians who are your cultural ambassadors that will hopefully pave a pathway to a brighter future for the Cuban people, for the American people, and certainly the people of New Orleans. So congratulations, God bless you, and then from the bottom of my heart, thank you.